Do you guys love sushi? Because I 100% do. Well, did you guys know that sushi can be as affordable as 50 cents a piece in Japan? Because yes, it can be. There's a very popular form of sushi restaurant in Japan called Kaiten Sushi, also known as Conveyor Belt Sushi Restaurant, where a moving conveyor belt serves sushi to your table instead of human workers. These restaurants tend to be a lot more affordable than a typical restaurant, and they're extremely popular in Japan. So how good are the sushi in these conveyor belt sushi restaurants, and what's it like to visit one? Well, watch this video and find out. If you're looking for an affordable sushi in Japan, it usually doesn't get more affordable than going to a conveyor belt sushi place. There are several conveyor belt sushi franchises that are very popular, and today I'll be going to one of them, and it's called Pura Sushi. It even says 150 yen per item, which is just over a dollar. Let's go get some real food for a dollar. Usually there's a lot of people in these franchises, so come prepare to wait for some time. Table. You're gonna get a ticket like this, so hold on to it until they call your number. Alright, it's my turn now. I got a table number 7. Gotta be one of these tables, huh? I love how they have curtains for privacy. Alright, let's look for number 7. Oh wow, it's so cozy. So I'm thinking... All you gotta do is use that tablet and order the sushi, right? Many of these places offer different language settings, so even if you don't speak Japanese, you're totally fine. It asked me if I wanted to play this game. I didn't know what it was, but I like games, so I said yes. Under the table, you'll find things like soy sauce and matcha powder, and chopsticks and spoons. I really like their option to order with half a amount of rice. Sometimes I just want more fish in my sushi. Some of their sushis are 150 yen per two pieces, which makes it about 50 cents a piece. Now that sounds like a good deal to me if you ask me. And once you order the food, the moving conveyor belt will bring the sushi to your table. That's your yellow tail. Yes. All right, that's salmon, fatty salmon, and that's scallop. Okay, I get it, they're cheap, but are they good? This is the salmon, not the most handsome looking salmon sushi, but I just want it to taste good. Yeah, it tastes good. My worry was that since it's like so affordable, the fish might be a little too fishy or the texture is a little funny. It might not be the best looking one, but when you put it in your mouth, this is very satisfying. Let me try some yellow tail as well. I always put lots of wasabi in my sushi. And let me tell you, the sushi here tastes surprisingly good. That's good yellowtail too. I will say this though, in terms of the build quality of these sushi, it's kind of like the fish is just kind of floating on top of the rice. It's kind of like American Uncle T's hair. The natto is arrived. Mm. There's natto. I believe that's fermented soybeans. Some people find it very smelly and difficult to eat. I thought it tasted a little funky too. You could say this is kind of like the Japanese soybean kimchi. Apparently, it's very good for your health. Wanna try, guys? Come on. Some seared fatty tuna. There's one for you. Thank you, sir. And this is mine. They have some very attractive looking ramen here. I'm getting the beef kalbi ramen. I like how the Japanese icon bows. Even the icons are polite. Oh, they have sea urchin. Like uni? I want that. You want one too? You can get two. I've never had uni before. Really? So I'm willing to try it with you. <laughs> oh yeah, you should. You might think it's very funny tasting. I've always stayed away from it. And there is our uni. I want to see your reaction. I'm kind of scared. I've <laughs> never had this before. A lot of people would kill for this uni. Okay. Take your time. What do you think? Yeah? The texture has an acquired uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like this is not just uni, it has like other ingredients with it too. When uni is super good, it shouldn't be fishy. Let me find out what this one's like. Yeah, this is surprisingly good. It's not like pure uni, but I still really like it. Salmon roll. Oh, that looks good. That's the tempura udon that looks fantastic. The Korean in me, it demanded the kalbi ramen. 
Clearly, they don't have the best presentation. But as far as the quality of the food, I didn't have much to complain. So when salmon eggs are not fresh, they tend to get really fishy easily. So when I was young, I didn't really like them because I thought they always tasted fishy. Let me taste this one though. Mm, not fishy at all. That was, that was great. There's my melon soda ice cream moon. Very kawaii looking. So this ramen has beef brisket, some spicy soup. It's like four dollars, a little less than that, a bowl. It's pretty good portion for what you pay for. It's like a little side dish. Quality-wise, I feel like it doesn't match the best ramen restaurants that you can find outside. But then it's way better than one of those cup noodles or like convenience store ramen. This is, this is a legitimate ramen. The soup of this ramen has like kind of an aromatic touch to it. I really like it. I gotta say, I like the sushi like all pretty much equally to be honest. If I had to like rank it, I honestly really like the uni. For 300 yen per piece, in other country standards, that's unthinkable. That was really good. The melon soda ice cream is really good too. Yuzu marinated sea brim. That sounds like it could taste really good. I just love the fact that you can do a half portion for the rice. Because I don't like to waste food. But then since this place is very affordable, I want to try a bunch of different things. And honestly, the rice to sushi ratio with half serving of rice, it's good. Like a good traditional sushi would have more rice, but I like it this way. That was really good. Oh, did you know that Kura Sushi, they have American locations too? What? No. They do. So there was a Kura Sushi when I was living in San Diego, and it was insanely popular. How much is it? There? Quite a bit more expensive. Yeah, yeah, so the thing is, the quality is not even that good. I'm sorry, Kura Sushi, I love your stuff here. But in the US, your stuff wasn't that good. I think it's the conveyor belt aspect that these Americans were like so blown away by. Oh, oh my God, it's just like Japan, just like Naruto. <laughs> Is there conveyor belt sushi in Naruto? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, back in San Diego, it was like an every ABG date location. Yeah, I only went because the girls wanted to. <laughs> I can see it. And I was like, damn, this girl has no taste. Mm -hmm but she's cute. <laughs> and of course, the girl made me pay for it too. <laughs> There's a yuzu shrimp. Look how healthy it looks. It almost looks like he could still swim. Octopus sushi. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the only one that I'm not too impressed by. Here's something that's kind of funny. It's a Hamburg sushi. So it's like a sushi with a, a little beef patty on top. Now, I like the patty. It's kind of like the one that's in like a Japanese bento box. I don't think it's necessary to turn it into sushi. Take this further, they're gonna come up with chocolate sushi. That fatty tuna. That was one of the more expensive sushi, right? That was like almost $2.50 per piece. $4.30. Oh, $4.30 per piece. That's way more expensive than the ones that we had before. And that's for one piece too. Yeah. This better be good. Just tell me what you think. Is it worth it? I guess it was really good because he made that Japanese anime girl face. <laughs> in a lot of not so expensive sushi restaurants in other countries, you don't even have these. They have tuna, but they don't have like, like otoro. Like a, a cut like this, it's pretty hard to find. Are you guys seeing this? Mm. Wow. Okay, I'll be honest. Look-wise, they could have made it look better. I agree. But it tasted really good. Was it worth the 430 yen? Yeah, I think so. I think so. If you came here, it would be a shame to just leave the place without trying that one. Ah, uh, onion haseyo! Oh wow, that's a lot of onion rings too! <laughs> Not really a sushi restaurant thing, but I got onion rings because I love them. Okay, let's have that onion rings. Traditionally Japanese, I think. Yeah, this is onion tempura. Mm. I gotta say, that's good tempura. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crispy. 
Mm. <laughs> Look at the kid. <laughs> She's like, what are they doing? <laughs> oh, do I want what? Oh, you speak English? Are you giving that to me? Your parents okay with this? Why are you giving that to me? Um, I get four and then three friends. Oh, you have three friends and you got four of these. Oh, that's... Oh my God, thank you so much. You guys should... Do you guys... I like how you guys bow. You guys uh, watch YouTube? You, you guys don't know YouTube? YouTube. Bring this to your parents, show them, okay? Show them and bring it back, okay? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will treasure this with my life, okay? Thank you. My channel? Jimmy Kim. Jimmy Kim? Yeah, you should watch it too, okay? Oh, where is she? <laughs> no, thank you guys. I'll keep this forever, okay? Until I turn like 100 years old. I'm like 20 years away from that. We had a lot of sushi. Oh, let's get desserts too. Fried soy milk donuts. That, that good, sounds right? amazing. Maple yeah. syrup with butter sounds good. That does sound good. Oh that man, good. it's only 280. <laughs> <laughs> let's scoop up some of that red bean paste. Some of that. I guess that's a soybean ice cream, right? It's, I think it's vanilla ice cream with soy uh, kinako, oh. like soybean powder on top. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, Japan has that too, Korea has that too. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. And my God, it was amazing. Whoa. You should all come to Korea just for this. Yeah. If nothing else, You just should this. get this. This kind of looks a bit sad. Oh yeah, it does. This looks a bit sad. It looks almost empty inside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's some like nuts and very sugary things inside. It tastes extremely buttery. So it is better than it looks. Was it worth your 280 yen? Mm, 280, I'm not sure. <laughs> I've never had it in Japan. Bye, take care. She's waving with the toy. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. I'll keep your gift. <laughs> now by the end of the meal, we had all these plates stacked up. And do you guys remember how we started this game earlier? These empty plates can be used as a game credit by inserting them here. For every five plates that you put in, it'll activate this gacha game where you have a chance of winning something. Well, you don't really play the game, you just watch it play out. But when you do win, this will happen. Yeah. What? No way! <laughs> the little keychain. Can I gift it to you? I, I will accept this cute gift. Thank you. No problem. I, I want to take a look at the one they gave me. Oh, I got the little sushi from them. It's like a little sushi keychain. Kid, if you're watching this, thanks again. Okay, so how much did we end up spending? Oh! The total came out to be 54 US dollars, but considering how much we ate, that is surprisingly affordable. I thought that was awesome. I felt like their sushi tasted really good. Their presentation wasn't the best. Like, they're not the most handsome looking sushi. But overall, I'm very satisfied. If I lived in Japan, I'd come here pretty often. That being said, if something like a $50 meal for two people gets this kind of food, then what about $400? Well, there's going to be another video on that, so stay tuned. But before that comes out, go ahead and watch my other videos too.